Dr. Carl Nadelsky here from leanerliving.com and today I'd like to do a little video uh, in response to some of the extremist views out there from quote unquote practitioners talking about gluten, the wheat protein, destroying your thyroid. Now, I'm board certified in obesity medicine and if you know what we get into at leanerliving.com, it's all about diet and nutrition and, and exercise and sleep to improve weight loss and cardiometabolic health but I'm also an endocrinology fellow, so I have a special interest in thyroid, and I thought, well, I should look into this a little bit more so that I can clear things up because I'm very confident that the evidence does not support gluten destroying thyroid in the majority of the population. So the evidence I wrote down at, uh, in an article at leanerliving.com, not a comprehensive review, not a systematic review, but I think I got the basics down, and uh, the prevalence of celiac disease is like 1%, and it goes up to about 4 or 5% in those at risk, meaning genetically susceptible family history and those with symptoms. Now, similar percentages are for thyroid disease. Now, we've always known that autoimmune diseases run together. So those who have a genetic susceptibility to one generally have a genetic susceptibility to the other diseases. And that includes type 1 diabetes, Addison's disease, and some skin diseases. So it, it, it completely makes sense, and that's where people are getting this information. Well, when you look at the studies where they looked at celiac and thyroid disease, there are subpopulations where people do have both, as potentially expected. And there's an increased risk of one or the other if you have one or the other. They also looked at does a gluten-free diet improve thyroid disease in those who are celiac patients and also have thyroid disease? The answer is yes, but that's an even smaller percent of the total population. So these people out there that are scaremongering you into thinking that gluten will destroy your thyroid, if you're part of the 99% of people that don't have an issue with that, the gluten will probably not destroy your thyroid. At least the evidence is not there to support it. Now, if you have a genetic susceptibility or if you have one of those diseases and you want to go on a gluten-free diet, that's pretty reasonable. I tell all my thyroid patients that they could at least consider it as long as it means they're going to eat veggies, legumes, fruit, and maybe some other true whole grains that are non-gluten. So to answer that question, all those people out there that are doing that, they're just being really extreme and you don't need to worry about it. But what I would like to do is pass this on to the Ask Dr. Spencer show because he has a unique perspective and I'll let him describe that from a Hashimoto's slash celiac disease patient. Spencer?